Hi everybody, I am Ron Bumblefoot Thal. Welcome to my lessons here at jamplay.com. Yeah. The unique thing about this series is that it not only gets into the physical aspects of playing, but it really gets into the mental aspects and things where you're exercising your mind. You have to remember that music doesn't start at your hands, it ends there. It starts here. It starts here, it starts everywhere else, and it ends at your hands. It leaves your body through your hands. So I like to exercise where the music starts from. So we talk a lot about mental multitasking, uh, dividing your brain so you have a few things going on at once that you're focusing on uh, different things at the same time. So how do you play two different scale patterns at the same time? Uh, it starts here. Uh, let's say you want to play two different rhythms or two different divisions of a beat, five against three. How do you do that? It starts here, and we work on that. So once we have exercised your mind, we start to exercise your hands and we get into a lot of tapping, a lot of sweeping, a lot of the more advanced physical techniques on the neck. Before you dive into this, there's a few things that you should be comfortable with. Uh, you should know scale patterns. You should have some pretty good hand technique as far as hammer-ons, pull-offs, bending, sliding, tapping, things like that. Uh, if you're not that great at it, uh, this series may help you get a lot better at it. So, but it's something that you should at least have uh, beginning comfort with in order to take this stuff on. Theory-wise, uh, you should no scales, you should know arpeggios, you should know your way around the neck, you should know where to find the notes around the neck. Uh, that will definitely help a lot because we're going to be referencing things and so that you know what I'm talking about, you need to know that stuff. Keep in mind while you're taking my lessons that you can be doing all this flashy stuff and all these crazy techniques and all this very shreddy stuff, but what matters most is pocket and groove and where you place the notes and your phrasing and your dynamics and all of that. That's what's most important. How you make each note speak, the voice that you give it, the inflections that you give it. And that's really the priority when you're playing that you should think about. Playing fast, playing slow, doesn't matter. It's having that as part of your playing is what really counts. Thank you for checking out my series. I hope you enjoy it.